as you can probably see. <laughs> We've done a fair bit of cutting because there's certainly a lot of scraps here. That's it. And things you gotta be careful because it's sharp. And the poor big the poor big dog boat uh it's head of the shed is probably not liking it, but uh, what can you do because we've got the new one coming along, so oh well it's all looking a bit crazy, all those panels. Oh, stuff. I don't know where it's going or what it's doing at the moment. It's been That's a, it. Wouldn't have a clue, but should by the time we, you know, get everything all put together and start building the hull up, we should uh, understand it and where everything's going. I just like these pieces. This <laughs> big side bit. Yeah. Have a look at the size of this. That's a massive side panel of the boat, and it's not even the full thing either. Like a meter and a half on the end of it. Yep. So. Oh. We're just getting into it. We've got the big dog logo in here. Yeah. I reckon that's one of the best parts. Mike and John have done some sick work for us, eh? Yeah. So now we just got to do the dirty work. That's it. Well, we're nearly there. Only a few more panels to go. Yeah. We've and then, got one here. So. And then uh, start building the frame up and then start getting the hull all together. And then from there on it, the build starts. Yeah. Game time. That's it. So we're onto this last piece here. What we like to do is we get a few of these trestle tables, lay the big sheet on there so we don't have to be bending down while we're cutting, bad for your back. <laughs> we get these pieces of wood, sit them on the table, prop them up so you're not digging into the table when you're cutting. And uh, once we get all that done, it's pretty much go time. So yep. I reckon we get it going. Yep. So let's smash it out and we'll show you how we cut it, what we use, how we do it. So right, let's get it done. Let's go. All right. So Harry and I just propped up the, the alloy sheet. Bit of a mission, isn't it, H? Yeah, it's a little bit, but the sheets that are under us now that we've still got are a bit lighter, and they're half sheets, and this is our last big full sheet, so make life a bit easier. Yeah, that's it, but basically all you gotta do with the grinder, you put a little bit of wax on the surface edge. Um, so when, obviously, the grinder's going, just give it a bit on the edges, and it just makes your blade last a lot longer. Um, and then sort of when you're cutting out the, the pieces, see these little tabs here? All you want to do is get the grinder and basically just grind as close as to the edge that you're going to use. So it saves you time later when you do come to finishing everything up and you don't have to grind back all the access. So just got to get as close as we can and then, but not obviously not too close that you cut the sheet. You're just close enough and then so it saves us time later when we want to finish it all off. That's exactly right. So yeah. Let's go. Let's get into it. Alright, so we've got our protection, of course that's the number one thing. So now we'll start getting into it, we'll probably, you evenly, normally like to spread it out so you have one person working on one end, one on the other, so you're not all close together, you know, it's dangerous when you're cutting out stuff, so I'll probably stick on this side blue if you yeah. want, or if you want to start down this end, I'll go down this end, yeah, and you I'll just, down the other end for you, you just on. work all together and then hopefully you just come in and you've got the whole sheet done, so let's go. Pretty big moment here. Yeah. This is probably the only interesting piece on the boat, <laughs> on the boat at the sheets right now. But we're going to cut out the uh, big dog logo. So what do you reckon, Ben? Do we want to get to it? I reckon. Do you want me to cut the first piece, or do you want to? Ah, oh, off you go. All right. I'll let you do the others. What one? Uh, I'll hit up. I'll hit this one, and you hit that last one. There you go, mate. 
bad for work. Done. The big dog logo. It's in a special part. Have a look at it. Wipe it off a bit. Oh, it's gonna look good. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the uh, back door big dog logo. It's Looks good. Sick. Good to get this cut out. This is the only real one you look at and you think, <laughs> oh, I want to get that one out. The other bitch, you just think, I don't know what that's for. But <laughs> Looks so, good though. The design looks good. Yep. So we'll look after this piece because. Oh yeah. This is probably the most special one on the boat, Maybe I'd say. Maybe frame it before you put it on the boat. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Got to clean it up a bit, but let's get to it because it's yep. not going to get finished yourself, is it? Nah. least had a big day of cutting, eh? Yeah. So, now, we've given up on the cutting for now. We've got a few more sheets left, um, but we've done majority of it, so like, let's change it up a little bit so I don't get sick of it. And now we're gonna start making the jig frame to shape the hull. So basically, really it's four corners with uh, six wheels on it. So this is what we call a jacking bolt. What are these used for, Harry? So pretty much the jacking bolts just ensure that the surface of your jig is like perfect. You don't want to be working on any uneven ground. And it also pretty much just takes the wheels off the ground so that when you're working, you're not rolling around, which would be a pain. It's pretty much just like that. Sits on the ground like that, jacks up the wheels, and pretty much just holds you at that one spot. Yeah. So it's not messing you around when you're doing anything. Make sure the hull's 100% even. So they're pretty vital. So we have... How many of those do we have? Uh, we have a six. few. So we have six, so one for, uh, one for one each for wheel. Two. So we got the six, so we got two wheels on each, uh, wheel on each corner, and then we'll have two in the middle. This is an example of one of the jigs we've got. So this is number seven, so it's sort of the, the, the close to the bow of the boat. And um, this sort of creates the shape of the hull. And then we also, there'll be seven of these along here, just imagine seven of them with the alloy sitting there, and then we just tack it all together, and then we build the boat up from there. It's pretty much what happens, you just lay the sheets into here, they meet in the middle, then that's when you tack them, and then pretty much once you've got them all done, and you've got all, all the brackets and stuff, and you've pretty much just built the first bit of your hull, so. Yep, build it up. So we've got to get this done first before we start putting everything together, so. It's gonna be done. another project. Yep. So uh, we've had <laughs> an absolutely big day today, it's been pretty, Full on, hasn't oh, it? Last pretty... few days have been pretty full on. Yeah, so it's been all just go, go, go. So we've just added to our stockpile, <laughs> stockpile of scrap metals. And we've also pretty much, well, we got a bit of the jig frame done. Which well, is good. What were we out by? For like a two mil, I think. Two it's mil. Basically perfect, which is good. So it's been pretty big. We've only got a few sheets as well. So we're being all flat out and cutting out sheets. Yeah, 90% so. through all that, which is good. So the rain's starting to come. So we thought, had a big day, probably time to just pack up. Yeah. Go in, have some food, but I think we've done pretty well today. I think our efforts have been pretty good. I think yeah. we've done well. I think we've done more than we expected, to be honest, so. Yeah, well, within the last, what, I don't know, two days, we got a fair bit done. Nearly all cut, cut everything out. Uh, started the jig frame, which is good, and then, then we'll come back out tomorrow and, I guess, finish it off. Yeah, that's it, so. Thanks for watching at least guys and uh, catch us on the next one where we continue to build this. I'm knackered. Me too. <laughs>